right right okay right so guys like yeah so in the last session guys i just completed something around uh, two three demo classes we covered guys tuesday wednesday thursday so almost all we covered almost all all the basic uh, that means it's not the actual concepts i didn't i started but i have just given some ideas guys like what you are going to learn uh, what are the things we are going to learn as part of that so like this guys we have learned some different different concepts we have been got covered uh, just only theoretically but it is not going to be any uh, practically we have not done any implementation just once again a quickly if you see the last session guys yeah so just a couple of classes I've taken, guys, just an introduction, like uh, how the course curriculum, uh, just a little bit idea about what are the steps that are involved here. So as I said that now, guys, we are going to learn various skill sets like data collection, data analytics, data cleansing, uh, data visualization, uh, like something like model training or what we call it as model fitting, where the machine will learn. And if anyone has missed the last three classes, guys, don't worry, I'll share the link. Um, I'm going to share the links, guys. If anyone has missed the last classes, guys, don't worry. My backend team will share you uh, all the links to you. Uh, you can get it from my side also. I'll share you the link here, guys. So these are the demo videos, guys. Last three classes we have taken. So if anyone has missed the last three classes, guys, I'll share you the link. Uh, I'm sharing the link here, guys. So just click on the link and you can get the access to the videos, guys. These are the demo videos which I've taken on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So three classes, today is the fourth class, guys. And that too, it is an introduction. Hardly, just if you can see one hour class, guys, hardly 56 minutes, 59 minutes. Yesterday, it was just a 50 minutes class, guys. Okay, so if anyone has missed the last previous classes, guys, you can just go through them. Okay, so let's continue, guys. Um, as I, as just uh, today also, I just, it is in, uh, uh, I don't want to start with the, any uh, main concepts, guys. Our main topics will start from Python. So immediately in the first class itself, I don't start with the data science, guys. Uh, we are going to start with some uh, concept of how to work with, uh, like what we can say is, uh, it's going to be like how to work with something like, um, um, we are going to, uh, Python, I'll start it from the Monday's class, guys. So today I'm just going to uh, like uh, a simple ideas guys, like a simple techniques only, some a little bit interesting concepts I'll tell you, like uh, I don't show practically, but a simple ideas only I'm going to tell you guys. So as I said that this data science is all about some kind of an, um, a kind of a conceptual understanding guys, like maths you have to study, um, we have to study some statistics, and even guys, you are also going to learn, that means we don't learn in deep into them, but we are also going to learn a little bit related to biology also, guys. We learn biology, guys. We learn physics. We learn maths. We learn stats. So biology means, again, don't think that we are going to, you have to learn all the biology and all these things. It's not like that, guys. Uh, actually, uh, we have a concept called as a deep learning, guys. Okay. So this deep learning is mainly inspired from, it is mainly inspired from how the human brain works. It is going to be how the human brain works. So depending on that particular in, inspired from human brain, the working principle only, the deep learning is, is has been got, uh, it has been derived, guys. And even the terminology is also, is some related to not all completely, but terminologies are also going to be uh, something uh, related to this one, guys, human brain only. I think you may hear about that, guys. We are not experts in that uh, in that area, guys. We are not biological student, biology students. We are not. So I think we have an idea, guys. All your human brain is going to be made up of neurons. So if you want, we can just check it out, guys. Your human brain is going to be made up of some millions of neurons, guys. What is a neuron will do? A neuron is going to... Uh, which is nothing but one of the component of your human brain, which is going to process your information, guys. All that process need to be visual, audio, smell, touch. Um, um, these are all going to be, I think you know that, guys, five sensory organs. Uh, eyes is vision and nose is for smell, tongue is for taste and uh, skin is for touch and ears are for audio, for hearing. So five sensory organs, guys. So whenever we smell something, or whenever we touch a surface, whether it is a hot or cold, who has to intimate you? By the human brain. 
so that inform that information will be sent to the human brain so that human brain will process that data and it is going to uh, gives you a response to that so that's why in deep learning we have something called as a neural networks the neurals the neural network is made up of neurons only guys it is inspired from the human brain only so even when you start with uh, deep learning you will find that human brain that's why even when you see the deep learning uh, even if you see deep learning uh, any uh, pictures guys we can see their human brain will be there why because it was inspired from the which is going to be this one guys even we are also going to learn something about physics we are also going to learn something about the physics also we are going to learn but don't worry about that guys physics means again sir shall i go back again and learn a freely falling body or something like a moving object friction speed time okay all these are not going to be gets required guys okay just it's a little bit idea why because we are going to work with something called as an audio files so we are going to work with some kind of an audio files we are going to work audio files is going to be nothing but it is nothing but a sound do you remember it guys while at the 10 plus 2 standards we used to learn about something like sound frequency sound amplitude so isn't it so a little bit terminology is you need not to be an expert in that just if you have a little bit recapping of all the discussions that is going to be sufficient guys so really uh, really if you can uh, that means uh, really if you can show some interest in learning this data science guys so really these topics are very interesting and even uh, even the applications are also going to be almost all Uh, which we can use it in our real time and real time examples and our real life examples only uh, uh, we can just work with them guys yes absolutely some kind of a real life example generally programming languages we don't know what will happen internally but here we can do it guys so a lot of interesting concepts we'll take images we'll take audio files we'll take some textual data and we are going to work from that particular data sets and all these things we'll be working about that so that is going to be but how to implement all these things guys so how to implement this mathematical technique how to implement this statistical technique uh, how to work with the audio files how to work with the images so the main thing is it it's not the that means data science is not all it data science is not about about a programming language data science is all about some kind of an conceptual it's going to be some concepts some techniques and methodologies but whenever you want to implement these kind of a methodologies guys we are going to use something called as the language called as in python anyhow i'll start with the main introduction classes in the next class but just a small introduction for the today's class guys so it is a python python is a one of the language guys so nowadays that means as of now guys python has become very fam it has been very fami familiar with everyone so earlier some languages only some people who works in software industry who are into the it field only those people knows about that but nowadays python was not like that everyone whether he is a it non it uh, everyone is talking about the python everyone came to know about the python guys so everybody is talking about the python so that much popularity this python has uh, it has been brought guys so one of the very uh, the beautiful implementation of the python is python provides all the utilities guys whenever you want to work with some implementation no need to write any functional code i'm not saying functional code means you need not to write any logic you need not to write any uh, which is going to be the logic and all these things implementation no need to require so python provides you a lot of libraries guys just we have to get that library and we have to work with that library that's it you really no need to write any code you really no need to write anything you need not to write in guys just there will be some library will be there get that library and just we have to work with them guys just a small small interesting concepts i'll tell you okay just to get some uh, awareness about like what we are going to be working with that so don't worry i'm going to use something called as an jupyter notebooks here uh, anyhow in our main classes i'll make you to uh, install the jupyter notebooks how to install the jupyter notebooks don't try it guys so though i said that today we are going to work with jupyter notebooks don't try to install it guys i'll tell you the procedure how to install the jupyter notebooks i'll tell you the procedure 
So I'm using a Jupyter Notebooks, guys. Just looks like very simple notebook. Just like a notepad only, it will looks like this. We can write with that. It is all about working with, uh, what we can say that it is all about working with, which is going to be libraries only, guys. There is a huge number of li Python libraries will be there. So once again, I'll tell you in the main classes, I'll, when I start with them, what are the advantages, I'll tell you, guys. But the main, I just I want to show some. So, so many people are having an opinion that Sir, we have to write any uh, lot of code we have to write. Not required, guys. It is not required, guys. It is going to be simple, very simple language. Even if we are having any prior knowledge of programming, even if we don't have any prior knowledge of programming, no prerequisites, guys. If you just have some interest to learn the data science, and just if we have a little bit basics of, if you are from maths background, you need not to be an expert in maths, but if you are from the mathematical background, sufficient guys, you can learn data science. So just let me show you guys that don't worry about that. I'm just showing, see how I'm going to be working with that. So everything is going to be working with libraries only guys. It's a matplotlib. Matplotlib is a library guys, mainly used for data visualization. It's a data visualization library guys, where we can see, just we have to download the library and we have to work with them. Uh, I'll show you some images, take some any random images, guys. Uh, any images, you can take it. Any any kind of an images, you can take it. Like for search for any images, like um, any image, like for example, uh, I'll take some Charminar's image, guys. I'm taking a Charminar images. Okay, so I'm from Hyderabad. So uh, I'm taking, which is going to be the Charminar images, I'm taking it, guys. So see there, let me take any colorful image, uh, any colorful image will take it. Let us take this image guys. Any, just give me a second. Let us take this image guys, download this image, save the image as. I'm saving this image into some drive in a maybe a D drive. I have a data folder. In the data folder, I'm saving this particular image guys. I'm just saving this as, which is going to be say charminar dot it is going to be JPEG file. Now, what is our main interest here is I want to display that particular, I want to read that image and I want to display it, guys. So don't worry, even um, whatever the programming writing, I'm not showing anything, guys. Just what is the main interesting facts just I want to tell you, guys. Reading this image is a very easy, guys. pd.plt. dot, which is going to be im read. That is nothing but image read. plt is a library, guys. See there, where is the image is there? D colon slash data slash. I have an image called as a charminar.jpg file is there. I'm putting this into, let us say that some image. So now I'm going to print the image guys. So generally what may be, what may be your expectation guys? Whenever I said print image one, so it may be printing that, that image will come guys. Execute and check it out guys. Execute and check it out guys. These are the numbers that are part of your images guys. For everyone that is an image, but for ourselves it is only just a array of numbers. What is that arrays and I'll, I'll tell you later, but I think all of you have an idea guys. Images are made up of pixels. Pixel is nothing but, you know that no guys, our cameras, 48 megapixel, 50 megapixel, they say that. So what is that? It is going to be pixels. Every image is made up of pixels guys. Pixel is a small dots. It's a very small dot kind of a thing, which will have a color, which represents a color. So an image is form up, it's made, it's made up of some hundreds of pixels, which are arranged very closely, guys. See that, that is the numbers, guys. See, I clearly, you can see that charminar.image. I read it, you can see print image. You can see the numbers, guys. It's an array. It's an array, guys. So if you want to display that image, guys, that is a different case, we have to use it. I'll say plt dot. See, I'm not writing any logical code guys how to read it i'm not writing any such kind of a code it's going to be i am show what is that particular image one i just display the image guys plt dot show guys that's it i'm not writing any code much that much code <clears throat> this is your image guys so whatever the image i've shown you there same image you can see it here guys this is your image this image only i have downloaded guys there is that image, this image only. See the same image as it is, guys. This image, I have just read it and I have been saved in, guys. Otherwise, I'll save this link as this one. Save image as charmnod.jpg file was there. Replace it. 
One second, read it, guys. Because image has been changed. Image has been changed, guys. Again, read it, guys. And again, print it now. This is your image, guys. So, there is a lot of techniques are there, guys. So, we'll work with a lot of interesting concept. The data science means don't think that we learn only Python. We are going to learn only thing. So many things I'm going to teach you guys. I'll teach you some Photoshop applications. I'm going to teach you some Photoshop application, guys. So this is nothing but it's a color image. It's not, it's a color image, guys. Generally, we call it as an RGB image is what we call it as, guys. So technically, we call it as color photos, but color images. But uh, when it comes to the, um, as part of the, our technical aspects, we are going to call it as an RGB images because it is an image which is made up of colors. Colors are nothing but which are derived from three natural colors, guys. Red, green, and blue. I think all of you have an idea, guys. Red, green, and blue are the base colors. If you combine them, you will get a different, different colors, guys. If you combine red and a blue, sorry, red and a green, you will get yellow color, guys. Isn't it? If you if you if you just combine a red color and a green color, if you combine them, you will get a which is going to be a, a yellow color will come, guys. Like that, every color is a combination of different, different colors with a different, different intensity. Intensity means like darkness of more dark, the red color, more dark, the bright, the blue color. If you combine them, there are different, different colors and all these things we are going to get in, guys. So I want to convert this into black and white image. Let us say this, guys. I want to convert this into a black and white image. So how to convert? So do, normally if I ask you generally how to convert into black, uh, black and white means how do you convert it? Isn't it? It's like a Photoshop application. But programmatically, we can do it. We don't know what is a um, an RGB image and what is going to be and uh, uh, what we call it as. And black and white is called as an grayscale images, we call it as, guys. It's called as an grayscale images. So to whenever you want to convert this into a grayscale images, we have some different, different libraries will be there, guys. So just we have to download and we have to import the libraries. That's it. You need not to write any code. Uh, that library name is going to be OpenCV is a library, guys. So this is going to be what we are going to call it. A CV stands for computer vision. So basically, when you want to work with images, guys, we call it as a computer vision projects, what we call it as CV. CV stands for computer vision. So mainly whenever you want to work with images, guys, uh, we are going to call it as a computer vision projects or computer vision, what we call it as. So simple, guys, for every, even you don't know what is that, I'll teach you. What is a grayscale? What is the RGB images? I'll teach you guys later. But even if you don't know that also, if you want to convert a RGB image into grayscale, we don't require anything guys. Directly in the C, in the in the that particular functions, you'll be having something called as an convert color functions will be there. Just give the input. Who is your input guys? Image one. I want to convert from where to convert CV dot, which is going to be color underscore. You can see in guys. For every functionality, there is going to be conversion, guys. It is going to be RGB to grayscale. That's it, guys. You need not to do anything at all. This is image two. That's it. You need not to write anything, guys. This is going to be image two, guys. So this is the data. I, there is a so, small conversion has been taken place. This is going to be nothing but RGB images. You can see 113, 113, 328. But here we are having some different numbers, guys. See, that's a small difference in the number. Later, you'll understand it. Now, let me plot the images, guys. PLT dot, which is going to be I am show. It is image two, and it is called as a grayscale image. Color map is equal to gray because it does not know that it's a grayscale image. PLT dot show. The same charminar. Now, it will be converted into this case. See the difference. I didn't return any logic for that. I didn't return any code for that, guys. There is a simple function is there, CV dot color. I want to change the color from RGB to grayscale. If I convert this, what I'm converting, the image one pixels, which is RGB images, I converted here. That I can show you here. Image two, this is going to be nothing but image two is the image what we can see, guys. Like this, that's it, guys. There are so many interesting topics will be there. So like this, so many things are going to be there, guys. So what I just want to tell you here is, guys, whatever the concept you want to implement here or whatever the methodology you want to implement here, for everything, we are going to take the help of Python. So here, Python is not the uh, main, the powerfulness, guys. 
the technique what we are using is the powerfulness and to implement some technique we are going to take the help of the python that is the only importance of python guys so python is helping you about all the whatever the methodologies you are going to learn whatever the methodologies you want to implement in everything we are going to take the help of the python what we are going to take in guys almost all for every application you want there is a python library will be there guys you need not to write maximum code is not required guys maximum you don't require to write any code why because everything is going to be taken care by the python itself python is going to take care about that just only thing we have to understand here is just we have to know how what package is there there is a functions are there which function we have to use how to call a function all these things i'm going to explain you in the basic level i'm going to explain those particular concepts i'll explain it guys that is what the python basics we are going to learn as i said that right uh, i'm going to cover about the basic python concepts the basic pythons i'm going to explain you guys uh, what is the main purpose of the basics of python is like these only guys how to uh, get the libraries how to import the libraries and apart from that like um, uh, how to call the functions so all these things uh, i'm going to discuss it practically uh, whenever we go for that implementation we'll do it guys okay so that's it that is going to be all about the 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 basic ideas like this guys like this we are having so many things are there guys so matplotlib is a library which is basically used for data visualization guys so not only to images guys graphs uh, all these things you can uh, you can plot in guys just an example i'm showing you you can do the, all the graph the graphs and plots visuals and all these things we can create in guys all these are very easy guys plt dot which is going to be plot for everything for every functionality there is going to be some kind of an uh, what we can say that just give me a second so there is going to be some kind of an uh, we are having some kind of a functionalities are there so let us say that it is going to be jan february march april may apr may and it is going to be let us say june just an example guys i'm not writing anything just an example guys 100 let us say 120 let us say 75 uh, 50 or something like 64 and uh, it is going to be uh, april may again 130 and june let us say that 100 110 or 90 that's it guys you need not to write any kind of a code so just it is going to plot that particular code it is going to plot like this guys you can use a lot of customization everything is going to be customization guys so if you just see i'm just going to customize that i want to have the points so i can show you the points also here is a point in january how much sales we have done in february sales was increased march decreased april further decreased again in may the further increase and again decreased so many options are going to be there guys color is equal to i can customize them everything is going to be done in a programmatical way so color is red like this we can say line style equal to i can say some kind of a dashed line it's like this guys it's a dashed line like this so where is that sorry solid line dashed line means like this guys dashed line is going to be like this guys so like this everything is going to be we can customize them very easily with the help of the python libraries so some some kind of an interesting application guys like maybe um we remembered guys how the sine wave is going to be there generally we have seen the sine wave guys which is going to be how the sine wave will be there how the cosine wave will be there but we never drawn it on a graph sheet but because drawing a sine wave is not that much easy guys even if we try to draw it on the graph sheet so only in the textbook it will be there like that we'll just accept that it is going to be there but still we have a doubt guys how the sine wave will be there we all of you know the sine wave this is how the sine wave will be there guys right so it is going to be like this a sine wave will be curve, a curve like this guys you know that it is zero it is pi by two it is pi it is going to be three pi by two it is going to be three pi by two it is two pi because sine 90 is going to be one sine 180 is zero sine 270 is minus one sine sorry 180 uh, it's 180 it is 360 is going to be again zero like that we know that but we never drawn it guys i know that everyone no one has drawn this practically guys but in textbooks it will be there sine wave will be like this cosine wave will be like this 
and we are going to just accept it. That's it. But we never try, never tried drawing a sine wave on a graph sheet. It's not possible, guys. Even if we try it also, it won't come. Correctly, we don't get the curve like this. If we really want to get the curve like this, guys, we have to draw simply normally if we draw sine 0, sine 30, sine 60. Normally, we know these values only, guys. Sine 30, sine 45, sine 60, and if you draw the sine 90. We know only these values only, guys. If we draw it, we don't get the curve like this, guys. If you want to get a smooth curve like this, you have to draw sine 0, sine 1, sine 2 degrees, or 2 radians, not degrees, sine 3 radians or degrees, whatever it may be. It is degrees only, guys. It is going to be sine 3 degrees, sine 4 degrees. Like that, if you draw it, then you will get the curve like this, guys. Otherwise, you don't get the curve if you try to draw it. Even directly, you can draw it, guys. But in Python, even myself, I'm also having this doubt from my, uh, I have, I completed my, I intermediate almost all somewhere around 30 years, guys. Almost all 20 years happened, 96. So my my intermediate, my 10 plus 2 is from 96 to 98, 1996 to 1998. Uh, 1998 to uh, 1997 guys 95 to 97 and 97 to uh, 2001 my engineering so at from that time i have a doubt what is this sine wave how the sine wave will come i think everyone has been faced with the problem but once i started learning this data science then i came to know that how to draw how to draw this particular sine wave how to draw the sine wave now i, I clarified this how the, how the sine wave will be there if you want, I'll also show you guys. So what is my main point of interest here is Python provides all these utilities, guys. Mathematical utilities, data visualization utilities, everything is going to be provided. For example, if you want to do that kind of a numerical calculations, we have a library called as a NumPy. NumPy is basically stands for numerical Python. You can perform linear algebra, matrix multiplications, okay, matrix dot products, all these things we can do with the help of the NumPy guys. NumPy basically stands for numerical Python. Just I'm generating some values guys. NP dot which is going to be directly I'm generating a sequence of numbers. Directly from where to where guys. 0 to for example 180. That's generally 180 guys. 180, 181 what we can say that. So I'm taking some degrees. Otherwise I'll do one thing guys. I'll convert this. This is degrees guys. 0 to 180 is nothing but degrees. See, their x value is going to be like this, guys. 0 to 180 degrees, it has been generated. But I have to convert this into radians. So no need to doing it. Generally, normally what we'll do is, guys, multiply by pi by 180. That is what we have to do, guys. But no need to convert anything, guys. It is going to be np dot, which is going to be radians. Convert that x into radians, guys. That's it. It is going to be another x value. I just converted into radians, guys. And I'm going to calculate what is the sine value. Y equal to, it is NP dot sine of, which is going to be X. I converted into sine, guys. But how the value will be there? Normally, if you see the Y, we cannot, we cannot assume that. We cannot estimate it, guys. How these values will be there? All the sine values, guys. So now if you want to plot it, I can plot in, guys. PLT dot plot, X axis was X value. Y axis will be Y value. A smooth curve is coming, guys. 0 to 180. If you want to get up to which is going to be this value, guys. Up to which is going to be 2, it is going to be, guys. It is 0. It is nothing but it is going to be 0, guys. So see there, it is going to be pi by 2. It is going to be, two, uh, it's going to be pi by 2. 3.14 divided by 2, guys. Which is approximately 1.56 or something. We'll get the data. If you want to get a complete wave, guys, make it as 360. Just, just to show you the application, guys, 360. Now, again, I'm calculating the same thing, guys. Now, you will get a complete wave will come like this. If you want to get two waves, guys, see how simple it is going to be. What is sine wave? If anybody ask me how the sine wave will be there, so this is how I'll show them, guys. This is 720. Two complete waves will come. One, 360. Second, another 360. Total 720. Make it 1440, guys, if you want. So, totally four waves will come. Totally four waves are going to be gets coming as everything is customizable. There is nothing is going to be there. PLT dot figure. I can increase the figure size. Size of the figure I can increase. So for every utility, there is going to be this kind of an options are going to be there like this, guys. 
I'm just increasing the width of the figure. Just you see, the image width has been increased, in, guys. You can see the image width have been increased. We can further increase. Further space was there here, guys. 14, you make it. You can make it completely, guys. This is a sine wave. Same as it is if you want to have a cosine wave, guys. Y1 is equal to NP dot, which is going to be cos of X. It is cos, cosine, cosine I have been added, guys. PLT dot, which is going to be plot X comma Y1. See the difference. You know the how the cosine wave will be there. So it will start from 1 here, guys. See how it is going to be? This is not an uh, this is not an business report, guys. It is nothing but a mathematical, which is going to be sine wave, cosine waves, exponential, x square, logarithmic. How to die? How to find it off? Now, from now onwards, well, if anybody asks me, like, can you tell me how the x square curve will be there? I don't draw it on a graph sheet manually, guys. I'll take Python. You can take any number from anywhere to anywhere, and I think all of you know that, guys. How the x square curve will be there? x square curve is going to be there. So x is equal to just np dot, which is going to be a range of, which is from minus 10 to plus 10. y is equal to nothing but x square, guys. Done. No need to calculate anything value, guys. Minus 10 to plus 10 I have taken. plt dot plot x axis on x value, y axis on the y value. plt dot show, guys. This is how the, what we can call it as the, my x square curve will be there, guys. It's what we call it as parabola is going to come, guys. Isn't it? A kind of a parabola is going to become like this, guys. This is how it is going to work like this. That's it, guys. That is the way how we can work with it. All these, we are going to use it in our data science concepts. We use as this, guys. We use as this particular concept in our data science. So don't worry. We'll see the same example later. We are going to call it as, which is going to be, if you have the idea about this, guys, it is what we call it as a gradient descent concept. We are going to call it as guys. It's called as an gradient descent concept guys. It's a part of your deep learning concept. How do you optimize it? It's what we call it as a gradient descent. See the same curve I'm using here guys. Same, the parabolic curve I'm going to be using. It's a 3D view, it is a 2D view. That's it. That is the difference guys. It's a part of our deep learning applications which I'm going to use it. So just to make you understand that, like how much extent the maths is required means you really don't require a much expertise or you don't require a deep learning of mathematics, guys. Just see how simple I'm teaching the sine waves, how I'm simple teaching what is going to be x square curve, how it will be there. Just a kind of a small, small visualizations I'm doing that. Like that only, everything is going to be basic level. We have to study them. But a deep understanding is required, guys, mainly. If you want to understand what is, if you want to be more confident in that, we should know what is happening internally. That's why we have to understand. See, simply converting a RGB into grayscale, anybody can do, guys. But what is an RGB image? What is a grayscale image? So what is that internal concept it is? RGB is a three-dimensional array and grayscale is going to be a two-dimensional array. What is that two-dimensional array? What is the three-dimensional array? Those are the things we should need to be confident about that, guys. So if you if you ask me to print it, anybody can print it, guys. So this is how to read. This is how to convert. If you simply buy the syntax, that is sufficient. But that is not the technique. What is the concept behind? Why should I, uh, the concept behind converting an RGB into grayscale? And why do you require that? It is a three-dimensional. It is a two-dimensional. So if we give a three-dimensional image to the system, more computations are required. It memory will be more, guys. It is going to take more process. System will take more process. Whereas whenever it is a two dimension, it will take less process, faster. That's why we'll mostly we'll work with the grayscale images only. We are going to work with them. Most of our examples, guys. Most of our examples works on it. So we'll work with real time, most of the data sets, images, audios, videos, text, textual data. Everything is going to be done by the Python itself. So that's the reason we, we only use as the Python to implement our requirements only. But it's uh, not the advantage of using Python, guys. Python does not have anything to do with the data science. So what the Python is providing is whatever the techniques and whatever the methodologies you require in data science, those we can implement with the help of a Python, guys. Similar to Python, we have a one more language is also there, guys, R language. Even the R language is also, we are going to learn it. Yesterday, I told you about the course curriculum, guys. So we also have R language as part of our uh, training program. 
we also uses that particular R language. And we are also going to work with that. R is very easy compared with the Python guys. At least if you want to learn Python, some basics of object oriented is required. Uh, but whenever you want to learn about the R, we don't require any, any concept of object oriented programming. It's going to be a very simple language, very easy to learn. Basically, the R is designed for non-programmers. Basically, the R itself is designed for non-programmers. Anyone without having any programming language knowledge, they can learn the R language. Because first of all, it is designed for such kind of a people only, guys. So we don't require any um, um, any expertise uh, with a very basic level of uh, the basic level of the programming skills only. We can implement those particular applications, guys. So that is what exactly we are going to be gets working as of this particular the so called as an this application, guys. Okay. So that's it, guys. I just don't want to um, uh, show any much applications here. Just to get some idea, guys. We are going to learn all these kind of an interesting things, guys. Not just a programming. So what is RGB image? What is the color images? So how do you plot this? Okay, how do you plot this particular sine waves, etc. So these are all going to be guys, not just uh, not just in concept of programming concepts. These are all some kind of a skill sets we require guys. What is X square curve will be there. Then only we can understand that concept called as the gradient descent concept you can understand. Otherwise, you can't understand the gradient descent concepts. Okay. So that's it guys, um, I just don't want to take more for the today's class. So just for today, we'll stop it here guys. If you want any questions are there, I'll take up the questions from, from your side. So as I already told you guys, from the next class that is on Monday, I'll start with the basics of Python guys. And the link will be changes from Monday's class guys. So meanwhile, tomorrow you don't have a class guys, Saturday you don't have a class, tomorrow and after tomorrow. So if you want to continue from the Monday's class guys, so please complete off your registration. There is a registration procedure is there. So already the mail has been sent to you and anyhow my backend team also will try to contact you guys. So if you have any further queries, you can just reach out uh, to them or as well as uh, you can also reach out to me also guys. I'll also share my number and my email ID also. So if you have any further questions, uh, if you have any doubts, further issues, further doubts, if you have any clarification guys, so reach me on my contact number. I'm sharing my number here, guys. Uh, it's 8008077117. And this is also my mail ID also, guys. Just give me a second. Okay. Yes, I'll also share the, uh, the course content once again. I think this time you can download. Maybe the session has been terminated by the time you download it. That's the reason maybe you are unable to get it. Again, I'm sharing it. Uh, if you anybody wants guys, you please download this particular see the Excel sheet guys, which contains all the course content details will be there. Yes. <clears throat> yes, Rahul, I think now you can download it. Just download it and let me know about that. So just put a pointer on the file. I think there is a download button will come guys. Just click on that. It will ask you where you want to save. Just click on save. It will be saved it. Just it takes a, just a two seconds of time. Yes, Rahul, are you able to complete off? Okay, okay. So it's going to be, you cannot, maybe you cannot download it. Uh, you just, you do one thing, just send me the text message on my WhatsApp. I'll share you on your WhatsApp number. Okay. Fine. Just uh, text me on my WhatsApp number. We have already given my number. You can just send it, uh, just to send hi. Uh, just send me a text message. I will send you the details. Okay. Fine, guys. So already yesterday, I have given the details about the course curriculum, guys. Every day, one hour class. As I said that it is from 9.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Indian time. That is Indian standard time IST. And as I said that every day, at least if we can spend another one hour, one and a half hour for learning, uh, it's good to become. That's you can become, uh, we can become expertise on that. Uh, that is one thing I can suggest you. Apart from that, I also share a lot of materials. Uh, it's going to be, I'm going to share you some blogs and all these things. I also given some idea like which blogs I'm going to follow. Uh, which are good for our learning and all these things. I'll share the details, guys, um, automatically um, in the group. We'll maintain a group. Uh, in the group, I'm going to give you all the share the details. 
you can just learn and explore the things from that particular group, guys. Okay, fine. So that's it for the today's class from my side, guys. So on Monday, I'll start with the basics of Python, introduction to Python, I'll start with them. And slowly, I'll start with the implementations, guys. Okay, anyone, guys, any questions? No questions. Okay then. So okay then guys, just for today we'll stop it here. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you on the Monday's class, guys, with a new link, guys. So if you have already registered, okay, uh, well and good. You can you will get the link to your email ID. And if you have not a registered, guys, please complete off your registration before the next class. So because the link will change us on the Monday's by the Monday's class, guys. Okay. If you have any any further doubts or any further clarification required feel free to reach me on my WhatsApp number, guys. Okay? So thanks for today, guys. Just for today, I'll stop it here, guys. We'll continue on the Monday's class, guys. Thanks all of you, guys.